came, comes to death, life and death. You brought that up earlier. I lost my daughter to suicide in 2020, which set me on this path. It was like a wave of, you know, how are you going to heal off of this, dad or Nick, for that matter, human. Now you're going through this life and death situation here and it's really touched home. So what are you going to do? So I started looking for outside sources to kind of heal myself, whatever that might be. Ayahuasca, I already did that. LSD, that's a regular thing. That's not nothing new. So I'm looking for DMT. I'm looking for anything existential to help heal my hurt that I was going through. And what I found was nothing. Everybody had all that stuff. They were like, you don't need to be doing this shit right now, bro. <laughs> you just went through in a terrible loss. And so I was like, okay, cool. Lick, lick my wounds. And uh, I came across these healing flutes, which I brought earlier. And then I've already been kind of in tuned with 440 Hertz versus 432 Hertz. The music frequency that has been projected towards all humans since the Germans, the use 440 Hertz against the Jews to fuck up their mentality. I'll get into that. But anyway, I came across these healing flutes and that was my medicine. I'm like, wait a minute, this is my medicine. This is ancient Native American flute healing energy that they've used for centuries, for hundreds and hundreds of years before we were here in America, before we landed here or uh, the Europeans. And these instruments were stolen, they were destroyed, and you know they were just banned from Native Americans because this was their prayer. This is how they lived their lives. This is before Jesus. This is before you know they knew of any Greek gods for that matter. These people here on this land, they were using these instruments and they were just stolen. Yeah, and it's all perspective. You know, my daughter's death has brought me to this interview right here. I would not be, you know, asked to talk about these things because I dove into it. I was like, this is what's going to help me heal. And so I'm going to use these to help other people heal. That's pretty much what it is. You know, what, from one thing to the next, it's uh, exactly. back to source energy from source energy. Yes. And it's something that I, I, I read at her um, at her service. And thank God that I had a spiritual guide that was able to get me in line and help me understand that death is not the end and there are soul contracts and we are living a human experience. We are spirits and souls that will never die. You know, we just leave this form of life and we're amazingly blessed to have this experience, this human experience where I can feel this, I can feel this, I can drink this water and I can, I can, you know, feel the sun on my face. You know, when we're in spirit form, we're formless. We're back to source energy, you know, which is going to be amazing, I'm sure. But it's not the same as being able to give, you know, your brother a hug. You know what I mean? That's like I said in my in my daughter's um, service, you know, it's from source originally to earth and to our brothers and our moms and our sisters and our family. And then once we leave them, we're going back to source, you know, and we will feel their energy and know their energy once again, just not in this form you know, in this human form. So we're all frequency, we're all electricity, we're all spirits and lights, pure light, right from the source of the sun, right from the source of whatever that source God energy might be. And all of these experiences that we're living individually, you know, it's it's all part of the, the grand, you know, source. It's a part of that experience. And we're just like fractal, you know, little pieces of that, you know, and living this incredible experience. And it's always perspective. You know, it could be the most horrible day of your life, but when, you know, it, you're still living, you can still feel, you can still be loved and you can you, you still get a McDonald's burger if you want to do that. You know what I mean? We're not going to be able to do that when we're not here anymore, but we won't need that. All that is false energy anyway. What we need is true love, light, understanding, forgiveness, and, you know, love for every experience that we live. That's it, you know, good or bad or indifferent. Silver lining, perspective. Mm -hmm.